Hello everyone and welcome to MathX. In this video, we're going to find the exact value for this continued fraction. If this is the first time you see a question like this, well, it's going to be very, very interesting for you. As you see, the challenge with the question is that this number one is being repeated over and over. So how can we really find the exact value of something that is repeating infinite times? That's the challenge. To start, let's uh, assume this is T. Okay. And, okay. You see here, we have one over here. Okay. If we make the reciprocal of that, okay, one over T, then we could get rid of this one over here. Let's do that. Now, because we had here this numerator over one, so we're just going to write the numerator here equals one over t. And now this is the best part of the question. You see, now let's compare these two, okay? They are the same, but why? You see here, we had one over one plus one over, and here the same thing is happening infinite times. Here it's happening infinite times, so they are the same. So instead of this, we could write T. And when we do so, we're going to have a quadratic equation to solve. So let's multiply both sides by a t, and then have one to the left-hand side, then that's our quadratic equation. Just remember one thing. The way I did the question was not the fastest way. Okay, I'll let you know at the end of the video why. So this is the quadratic formula in case you've forgotten it. So a is one, b is one, c is negative one. So we're going to have two values for t, okay? Negative 1 plus minus the square root of 5 over 2. But th this fraction has two values? No. Uh, and this value is not going to be accepted. See, the numerator is negative. So t2 is all negative, but this is all positive. So T2 is not accepted. So only T1 is the answer. But uh, in case you wonder, well, what is really this? What is 1 over 1 plus 1 forever? It's almost 0 0.6. So it's less than 0 0.7. And now uh, I want to tell you something. Next time that uh, you see a question like this, you could find the quadratic uh, equation faster. All you have to do is just write t instead of this. And now all you have to do is multiply both sides by 1 plus t. Bang, you'll have your quadratic equation. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, you know what to do. 